At 17, they found my first lump. Um, it was benign. Arlene McCormick of Newton had three more benign lumps removed, but the fourth was breast cancer. When I was 44, the lump that they removed then was cancerous. She blames this drug, diethyl sylvestrol, known as DES, given to her mother and scores of other pregnant women decades ago to prevent miscarriages. But now many of their daughters suffer from breast cancer and reproductive issues. You know, had my mom known this was dangerous, she wouldn't have taken it. Hi, nice to meet you. McCormick and other DES daughters, as they call themselves, are at Boston's federal court today, beginning their trials against the drug's manufacturers. Over 50 lawsuits have been filed. I was the first, 1998, Donna, 2002, Andrea and Francine the same day. The frightening pattern of breast cancer among the Melnick sisters prompted them to take legal action. They claim the drugs maker knew the risks and did not warn patients. What I want the court to know is the um, pain and suffering that we all endured as a result of my mother taking this drug. For me, this fight is about holding the pharmaceuticals responsible for not telling our parents, telling my mom that this drug was dangerous.